friends it's Maya coming to you with another video and in this video we're going to be making tuna melt a easy breezy meal to make you can make it for breakfast lunch or dinner so if you want to see how I make tuna melt let's get started okay my friends we're gonna be using some mayonnaise in this recipe some black pepper some tuna in water and this is flake tuna and some scotch bonnet pepper half an onion some scallion or um, green onion and you need some sliced cheese my friends or you can also use some block cheese whichever you have okay this is old um, cheddar that I'm using okay so yeah so let's carry on make this tuna melt so my friends I've drained um, my tuna and squeezed out all of that water out of there I'm going to put it in my bowl okay so let's carry on and cut up the onions mm. my friends the new year is here and uh, um, I'm hoping to take my videos to a different level um i don't know what that means but i'm hoping to do something a little bit different with how i'm doing my channel um i would like to incorporate more of um god in my videos i'm just going to have to figure out a way to do that and I know some of you guys don't celebrate a lot of things or don't believe or, or is not a believer, but my channel is based on being a believer. Hence, something better. Okay. So I've cut up a little bit of onion. I don't need too much onion. It's just half an onion I used. And I'm just going to cut up a little bit. Yeah, so I'm hoping to... Um, yeah, just incorporate more, more stuff, um, a little bit more of God into my channel. And I'm going to kind of, um, yeah, well, I hope you guys have an input. Let me know what you think about the idea. Now, yeah, so this is half an onion that I've used, uh, half of a small onion. I'm going to get my scallion, and this is one stock of scallion that I'm using, or green onion. Okay, and I like to use just the green part when I'm doing my tuna melt, my friends. And I'm chopping these up very small, okay? Chopping these up very small. When was the last time you guys had a tuna melt? I haven't had one of these in a long time. And I just felt like some tuna and I decided that I was going to do this. Okay, so I think that's enough green scallion, a uh, green onion. Okay, and I'm also going to put some scotch bonnet pepper in it. Now, my friends, let me get a fork and uh, cut this up. When you're handling scotch bonnet pepper, my friends, you want to use a fork to to do this because once it gets on your hand on your fingers it's very very hard to shake it off or clean it off right and then you end up rubbing your eyes and get a nasty nasty sting now I am putting enough to make it a little bit spicy I don't know how you guys normally do your tuna salad but this is how I begin to make my tuna melt is with tuna salad mix and I like to put um, different things in it okay so this is ready I'm just going to put this now in on top of my tuna here we are nice all that freshness okay so my friends I'm just going to mix this in with a fork oh, I'm gonna move this out of the way I am making a mixture between lunch and um, breakfast because I 
don't usually eat breakfast per se but it's now coming closer to I think 10 a.m. so might as well get my lunch in there as well and this is a quick and easy easy uh, meal to prepare whether lunch breakfast or dinner it's just easy to do the kids will like it my friends um, it's still nice to eat for cheap and eat well right okay so that's all blended in all right I'm going to get my mayonnaise and I'm going to maybe put a tablespoon a nice big tablespoon in and I'm going to work it in just like that mix it in let everything combine you don't have to put too much mayonnaise in my friends okay because this is just your base for your salad and then we're just going to make the melt and this is a great recipe to do if you're cooking with children it's easy breezy and I think the tablespoon of um, mayonnaise is good enough okay so let's I'm going to get my bread I'm going to use uh, cheddar jalapeno bagel these are from Costco and it's so delicious especially when it's toasted my friends okay so I'm just gonna open my bagel now I'm not going to put any butter on my bagel I just want it like that okay so then I'm going to put my tuna on top just gonna put my tuna on top so this is another open um, I guess it's a sandwich another open sandwich so there's my tuna on top I'm gonna to do the other side as well and just use up the one tuna now this can of tuna could probably do for two people my friends so this is always you know um, a nice recipe to do it if you're having a small amount of company over you can put it on sliced bread we use up whatever bread you have my friends you do not have to go out and buy cheddar jalapeno bagels I like to use a heavy bread when I'm doing this recipe though but as I said you use up what you have okay all right so I'm just moving these out of the way I'm going to get my slice of cheese and I'm going to place it on top oh yeah baby I'm going to show you in a second what it looks like there it is just place it on top okay I'm going to actually use some block cheese on this one okay I'm just going to grab the grater and then I'm going to come right back okay so I'm going to use some cheddar cheese and this cheddar cheese old I like to taste the taste of this cheese on crackers my friends so I'm going to grater some of this cheese on top of my tuna this is going to be delicious I think I have enough cheese there I'm just gonna move this out of the way fix this a little bit nice okay so here we are so my friends I am going to put this in the toaster oven and I'm going to place it on toast what I am actually looking for is for the cheese to melt then I know it's ready okay so I'm going to do that melt the cheese on our tuna melt and I'm going to come right back and show you this okay my friends here is my tuna melt I'll just give you a close-up okay remember we use the cheddar um, the sliced cheese on this one and I would use some old cheddar on this one so there it is my lunch and this is tuna melt I have paired it with just some um, pickles so this is a completed nice lunch okay my friends as I said you can use it for breakfast as well um, yeah so this is tuna mint thank you for watching my friends and remember 
regardless of where you begin, you can end with something better.